Hi guys, it's Nicole, Young, Wild, and Polished. So I was going to do a tutorial tonight, but I decided that I'm going to show you my polish stash because I just added a few things. And I've had lots of people ask me to do a video of it and kind of go through everything and show what I have. So I'm going to do that. Let me show you guys. You've seen this bookshelf. I've had it on Instagram numerous times. Oh, look at that. The light is shining down from heaven. See, Jesus does love my polish. <laughs> do you guys see that light there? Yep. I'm in good with the Lord. All right, so up there we have sinfuls in the back there, and then in the front I just have a few randoms. Uh, my friend Loretta sent me those two Depends there. I don't know why I have them there, because I do have the rest in another spot, but, you know, whatever. And then uh, Nuance by Salma Hayek. Nicole by OPI. I love, love those polishes, but I hate, hate the bottle. Over there is my Sally Hansen's, kind of all mixed in there. And then there's some Revlons. Uh, over there, there's a couple cover girls back there. Sorry, I'm trying not to be too shaky. And then that first row there is Transitions, uh, the new Transitions by China Glaze. They're awful. Don't get them. I hate them. I can't even use them. The formula sucks. The colors aren't that great, and I just, I really, really am disappointed with them. Uh, China Glaze, I do love the brand China Glaze. The just regular old China Glaze, love them. I'm a big, big fan of China Glaze. Down here we have a little bit of everything. This is just some overflow. If I just have one or two bottles of something, I kind of just toss it over there. There's my Pixies back there with the whitish lid. Uh, Wet n Wild and my NYC's are in there. Let me try to get a little closer. And then there's uh, Maybelline, L'Oreal, and then Spoiled and Milani. And down here is the Neglected group. Color Club's in the corner. I really don't grab Color Club very much. I don't know why. I like them when I use them, but it's just not the first brand that I think to go to. Uh, Elf. And then here's some Jessica, some Essence, my Hard Candies, uh, Pure Ice. Those are from Walmart. I do like that brand. They're very inexpensive. And then Sage Beat. I have about 30 backup bottles. Not quite 30, but let's see what's there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16 bottles. I know. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know. There's no reason for anybody to have that many bottles of anything. But between my mom buying and me getting when they're on sale, I use Seishvit like it's going out of style. So I have my own little store of Seish. And then that's just more overflow. And then up here is what I really want to show you guys. This is the table that I just added. Yes, it was our coffee table. Now it's my nail polish table. So let me go, th go through real quick and show you what I have here. These are my indies, and you can see I really don't have that many indies. I love them. I just, I don't know. I'm just recently getting more into them. Um, in the front, we have some Jindy nails, and then these are Lacquerlicious. This is my favorite indie brand. I love, love them. Let me show you a good sparkly one. Look at that. Yes, if you guys are looking for a good indie brand, Lacquerlicious, um, there's a store on Etsy. You can get them. She has gorgeous, gorgeous polishes. Tarte Taffy. I mean, it's so much fun. And then we have some KB Shimmers. That's another great indie brand. Uh, Candy Lacquer. These are um, a rhyming dictionary. It's not a very well-known indie brand, but I love this glitter. It's one of my very favorites. So that's another good brand. Cult Nails. Of course, everybody knows Cult Nails. Hair polishes, uh, pretty and polished. That's another brand that I really like. Chelsea is amazing. Uh, really great customer service, and the polishes are really fun. Over here we have my OPIs. Uh, this is my DS collection. Let me grab this one. This is probably my favorite polish that I own. It's DS Magic. 
I am somewhat obsessed with it. I don't want to use it because I don't want to run out. My son got this for me, and I absolutely love it. I mean, it has special meaning behind it, and I just, I love it. It's my favorite. So those are my OPIs. Up here we have the Liquid Sand Collection, um, Mariah Carey. They're pretty cool. I actually really like them. There's pics on Instagram of them if you guys are interested. And then over here we have my Zoyas. My little army of Zoyas. Aren't they pretty? Uh, here's some Orleys. I'm, I like Orly, but I mean if someone came and had to take a brand away from me, I'd probably give up my Orleys. Sation. This is my favorite brand of the moment. I love the colors. I love the names. Um, they're, they're so good. Back here is, this was my favorite polish of 2012. This is Tarty Tart. Look how pretty it is. I love purple polishes. And then over here we have Julie G. These are at Rite Aid. If you guys are looking for an inexpensive brand of polish with really good colors, um, Julie G is a really, really good brand. They're inexpensive and they're so pretty. And then these are my Layla Ceramic Effects. Ellie Splash. Oh, look at my baby. Where are you going, buddy? Hi. Say hi. Oh, look at that little handsome man. Sorry, guys. Isn't he so cute? Back to the polish. I'm sorry. Uh, Julep's back there and LA Splash. Uh, over here we have the Modern Family Collection by Nicole. I love them. They're good. If you're looking for a good collection, that's a good one. And the Selena Gomez Collection is another one that's really good. Uh, Butter London, and then back there we have the Essence uh, Breaking Dawn collection. And then there's my Lime Crimes. I spoke about them last night in my tutorial. And then these two were sent to me from Rada. She has a blog, it's called The Polish Owl. And it's Flome and Humblebee. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. But she didn't like them. She's a little crazy bird, but I love them, so... I am very thankful to her for those. Uh, NARS, Elamasca, there's an Estee Lauder, Nails Ink, and then this is a little Caviar Beads by Finger Paints. Oh, look, this poor little Deborah Lippman is all by herself. I gave all my other ones away, so we'll have to change that because she looks lonely. And then these are the ones that I mentioned earlier that were sent to me by my friend Loretta. She has a blog. It's called Lacquered Affair. And these are from Singapore. Aren't they gorgeous? I mean, even the bottles are so, so pretty. Over here we have, this is just some overflow. I was at Marshall's the other week, and they had uh, the OPI Pirates of the Caribbean collection. So... I bought backups of Planks a lot and Mermaid's Tears. And if you guys follow me, you know that I have a problem with backups. I love to have backups of polishes that I like. So that's just a little bit of that. And then over here we have my Essie table. And yes, I know, I have a slight problem. But you know how people stockpile toilet paper and canned goods, like for the end of the world? I stockpile Essies. It just makes me feel safe. Aren't they pretty? And then down here, this is just kind of a mishmash of everything. I have my acrylic paints, and I have uh, Sally Hansen pens. These were polishes that I got for my daughter, but you can see she never used them. Back here I have a little box, a nail mailbox that I'm starting for someone. And don't mind our floor, guys. We ripped our carpet up because we're putting new hardwoods, hardwoods down. So, Duke. So, that's why the floor looks like that. Uh, it normally doesn't look like this. So, my apologies. And then over here, I have my light box, and I just made this one out of a cardboard box that I got from the grocery store. 
And if you're interested, all you do is you cut holes, you make windows, and you just put tissue paper in it. Like this is just some tissue paper, and then I just, I mean, I have like a ghetto system set up here. I just have kind of lamps, little lights everywhere. But it does the job. And then you put your hand in here and you take a picture when you have all your lights on and there's no glare and it's it's good. I mean, it works. It was inexpensive and it took me like 10 minutes to make. And then here we have my crappy laptop. I hate it. I want to bust it on a daily basis. And what else can I show you guys? Oh, down here. These are just my little baskets. These are all my... Um, mini indie polishes that I have. I just have them all mixed together. And one thing I forgot to show you, these two here, these were sent to me by my friend Laura. She is the Brumming Bird. If you guys are on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen her. She makes um, holo polishes and they are so gorgeous and she's just so talented and I'm so happy that she sent me them because I love them. But yes, down here I just have a couple baskets. Um, in the evening when I'm getting ready to do my nails, I will grab a little basket, like little red riding hood, and I fill it up with polishes, and I take it over to my nail table. My husband's looking at me like I'm crazy right now. But there you have it, guys. That is my stash. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I have a ton of polishes. Don't send me messages that I'm neglecting my children, uh, that I'm not feeding them, because trust me, they're very well fed. This is an accumulation over a period of time. Uh, my mom buys me a lot, but I do buy a lot, but I can. I work hard, and this is why I work hard, so that I can buy all these polishes, because it makes me happy. So I hope you guys had fun. Check me out at youngwildandpolished.blogspot.com. You can see me guys on Instagram, youngwildandpolished. And I'm going to have another tutorial coming up very soon. I think we're going to do a dot tutorial. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Take one last look at the SE table. Bye guys.